Okay, hello! So today, I have a bit of a review of at least one game of, like, playing through BAP. I've been climbing all the way through Diamond at the moment, looking to get Masters. I've already got Masters on Tank before, but I would love to get it on my main role of Healer. So I've been playing, you know, a lot of stuff, and I'd like to talk through um, my thought process. So today, we have a strong BAP game on Lijong Tower. So let's get into it. Um, right now we're just, uh, what is this? Yeah. Is it this? No, sorry. 20 seconds. Oh, that's too much. Sorry. Gonna take me a moment to get used to this. I haven't done any reviews in a moment, so apologies for all sorts of delays, but I'm getting back in this swing of things. I did, I have done a little bit of practice, but anyways, let's get into it. So just heading out here, um, immediately I noticed that both of my tanks along with my DPS are way ahead of me. So I jump over this wall here. Um, I, I mean, sometimes I would think, Hey, let's go to the left so that I can keep that angle. But I can tell that since the enemy is also very fast, they have a Lucio. Oh, that my tanks are going to be taking the whole team. So I need to be able to heal them a ton, which I succeeded. I just keep pressing right click. I see double critical. So immediately as I see that double critical, I put down the field and try to give my tank some breathing room. I really wish my... Ryan would do a bit more survivability here. Luckily, I get to just hold right click down on him. Well, I get to spam right click down on him and keep him alive. We do lose the D.Va, but uh, I'm chilling. I see my Ryan here. Where'd he go? He went around the wall and I've lost him. Thank goodness for being able to see feelers, being able to see people through walls, but still, um, it's rough. My Ryan, for some reason, goes behind theirs, but because I've been able to build up so fast, uh, we already got a window. Um, so, even though yeah, at that point just before I wasn't able to follow the Rhine, I was able to, t he was, he still took the space, um, even if it was on the wrong side of the wall. And with that space he took, I immediately capitalized on my super fast window and we just melt through them. Um, I don't focus as much on healing anymore now that I got my window um, and because I, I mean with window I just want to be shooting um, so I do I keep the mix going uh, whenever like my tanks are not constantly being hurt um, because damage is a lot more valuable than healing is sometimes so I am I see that the Doomfist dives in. I hear him, really. I don't I don't see him. He just comes out of nowhere. Here, let's see that again. And that goes a bit fast. So We're shooting here. And so you can see the Doomfist out, uh, outline, but if you listen, the second I heard that er uh, ah uh, I immediately put down my field and can I, can I escape? Thank you. You see this lip right here? I also tried to jump back into it because one of the ways that Doomfist, like good Doomfist like to counter lamps is when you punch you punch someone up, they're they're higher than lamp. So I I do my best to force my body to fly in certain ways uh, to make sure I stay within the lamp. Uh, so he loses all his value. So now he has jumped up. I'm just going to be constantly having this charge. I don't jump until I see him go though because I want to make sure I dodge the ultimate. Uh, and I wasn't in any... Uh, like there was no other threat I had to deal with. I pressure out the Ana with our Rhine. I see he's purple. There's not much I can do about that before, besides killing his foe before he's over. And, I mean, 
If not for the tire, I think the Ryan, I would have saved the Ryan there, which would have been nice, but it's fine. Uh, now I'm playing a sort of DPS role. When I don't have tanks to heal on BAP, I like to play a lot more offensively. Uh, his damage is really high, so I, I like also applying the shield pressure. Our team uh, is sort of taking it a bit slow uh, with our Farah. Um, oh, and I want to highlight this play. Take a second. Like, our team is generally playing a bit slow with our Farah, so I want to make sure that I'm uh, speeding that up a little bit. Because if you, if you give the enemy team enough time, they're going to get something done. They have very high impact abilities. Um, they have Sigma's Rock, if you give them enough time. That can that pretty much guarantees a kill if it gets it. Um, they have Amp It Up. Which that I mean that's what makes Lucio strong in a group setting. They've got so many abilities that can really mess with us. So taking it long is not always the option, especially when our far is being uh, contested by that soldier there on the left. So now to the play I wanted to highlight. We'll go at a slightly slower speed. So I see that he's taking a lot of damage, and I know that my field is about to go down. I can see the solar shooting it, so I immediately put down my window because it amplifies healing. Um, yes, I, I might not get as much value out of it, not uh, like besides healing, but being able to keep my Rhine up here is very strong. I just get shot after shot. Though, again, the Ryan moves a bit out of whack. I don't, I mean, I am not committed to that window. Yes, window can be super strong and win lots of fights, but it doesn't mean you need to always play for it. Now we're on a pretty easy cleanup. I try to make sure that the shield's down so that we're able to quick clear. Let's go at normal speed again. So now we want to set up at the choke again, so I can start peppering the shields. I thought about maybe trying to heal the Farah, but we had a mercy, so I did not even need to worry about it at all. Uh, though, our Farah gets picked off here by the Junkrat, so we try to move to the right to ache back the point. And so I'm trying to, to make up for all that lost damage, uh, especially with our mercy going. I'm trying to take make up for the lost damage from Farah. Um, I preemptively... Uh, just prepare for the slam. Uh, it's an easy clear up. We just take strong focus. Um, not, we had some great communication. We called target after target, and they just fell. Uh, so it was pretty good. Very, very solid point. I think that this was, at least this part of the map, was a great example of a good bat. I think that sort of... Like, there, there's definitely parts in this side of the map that also went well but definitely not as well as uh the last map um one of the biggest surprises which we you can see in the top right but you couldn't tell yet uh in game was they had a torbjorn uh that torb actually pressures our farah a lot so i need to uh like think about not only healing but trying to pressure the turret also my aim looks like it wasn't doing as good and i was getting a bit too aggro so i definitely should be doing more healing on our ryan which i switched to here i definitely uh changed my focus the second i got booped up i was completely freaking out being booped up by that junk rat just scared me completely uh so i completely turn around what anything that's behind me here Luckily, there's nothing, it, though, because they're, these guys are behind the wall. But if, like, there were people right here, I would be dead because I chose to immediately react to the side instead of um, really making sure I'm okay in the situation. So we just do some jumping, make sure I'm okay. Um, keep the junk rat in mind so that I can help clear him there. Um... Now, let's get back in body. And now I just uh, try to air shot a little bit to hit the, heal the Farah. 
Um, now over this bridge, it's a very, very strong uh, place to hold. So being able to try to pepper them down from range here is uh, something that I really enjoy. Uh, once we see that turret, we back off. I'm in support of it. I see recently that my mercy was low. I see if I can get a quick shot off. I just didn't. Uh, it's fine. I see immediately as I see that critical from Ryan, and I know that I'm not currently pocketing him, I just dump into him. Um, now it's an easy cleanup. I save the window. Uh, yes, window's not the most impactful thing, but it, it's still an ultimate, and no need to waste it. I I here remember telling my Ryan, hey, get back. We're going too far. So we try to back up, uh, and... We didn't do it fast enough, so I wanted to apply this pressure through the window. Here I get unlucky. Um, I jumped a bit too high. I charged a bit too long, so I did not get the uh, get out in time. Uh, so I had a completely wasted um, immortality, but it's okay. Uh, here I'm just sort of spamming in, hoping I get a couple heals. I was about to shoot the Torbjorn to help our fire shoot him, but we just get an easy boop. Uh, again, cr I see a critical, I throw down the immortality. Um, it's a, if, if it's a life save, I mean, it's a, it saves a life. Uh, that's what it's there for. There's no high impact alts that I really need to worry about, like grab, to save my uh, immortality for. So now we're just jumping. I, I At this moment, I have done a really bad thing where I have no idea where anyone is. I don't know where any of my teammates are. I've completely lost track of the fight. It is pure chaos for me. So you know what I do? I still provide value. I just I just DPS. I like I mean, worst case is nothing. Uh, I see the critical, put down the thing. Easy. Um they do actually have the Junkrat to consider for the alt, but I, you know, I didn't even think of that till now. Um, we throw down that, honestly, I think this fight is not a good example of something to follow. Yes, we get it, but I think that after I died from that uh, D.Va alt, I think I, I definitely didn't do great there. But overall i think it was a fairly solid bap um i def i could definitely work on you know a better aim but i think it really shows um prioritization um because bap has such high healing and such high damage but you, you can't do both at once wait well you can't like shoot both at once it definitely is very important to make sure you're choosing wisely what you're doing. Um, and I don't think Bap gets a lot of value out of healing his, uh, his squishies. Like, yes, you can do that, but I think a lot of the time, at least in my experience, that being just another DPS sometimes is better and just letting your shift heal them or the second uh, healer. Um... Of course, like if there you don't have really have any good shots, um, you can just do a couple quick uh, heals. Um, but in general, save your like heal the tanks, but damage other times. Yeah, that's BAP. Hope you enjoyed that.